Hi, I'm Evan Carmichael. Welcome to another edition of Modeling the Masters. Today we're going to take a look at America's greatest showman, P.T. Barnum. P.T. Barnum was an American showman, businessman, and entertainer. Above all else, he was a salesman and promoter who knew how to get people talking. Today, the legacy of his work lives on in the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus, still billed as the greatest show on earth. When P.T. Barnum first launched his business, there was heavy competition, as many entrepreneurs had set up their own traveling road shows. He knew that in order for his circus to succeed, he needed to get people excited about it by being extremely different from everyone else. Even if you didn't have a ticket to his show, when Barnum Circus was in town, you would know it. He would sweep through into the city with gusto, elephants would be paraded through the streets, and clowns would be sent to local hospitals to visit with sick children. Barnum was providing a pre-show to his circus that got people talking and raised the excitement levels about his acts. He would offer tours of his circus to anyone who wanted to see inside the big top, and also put on a myriad of free contests in order to attract crowds to the circus. Barnum's schemes always worked. People would show up in droves, as would the media. He was always thinking of ways to promote both himself and his circus. From making splashy entrances to using cross-promotion, Barnum did what it took to make sure people knew who he was. So the next question becomes, how can you model the success of P.T. Barnum? Here are three action tips that you can put to use in your business today. Action item number one, sell something unique. How do you really stack up against your competitors? Are you honestly that different? If you're an average company with an average product selling at an average price, then guess what you get? Average results. To be successful, you have to have a point of differentiation. It has to be something that is noticeable to people who don't understand your industry. In the circus business, you have to get good performers, and P.T. Barnum went out of his way to find the best. From the Fiji Mermaid, to the Siamese Twins Chang and Eng Bunker, to General Tom Thumb the Midget, P.T. Barnum had a unique product that none of his competitors could match. Think about if a potential customer found your website and five of your competitors' websites. Would they get the feeling that you're very different from the others? Be honest with yourself. And if the answer is, not really, then it's time to get to work on creating an offering that is truly unique in your industry. Action item number two. Promote, promote, promote. You can have the greatest product or service in the world, but if nobody knows about it, your business won't last very long. Whatever market you're selling to is likely full of competitors. Even if you have a better quality product or service, your competition can get more business than you if they promote themselves properly. To be a successful entrepreneur, you need to both provide an outstanding offering, see action item number one, and promote it so everybody knows about it. One of my favorite quotes from P.T. Barnum is, without promotion, something terrible happens. Nothing. If you're not out promoting and selling your product and your competitors are taking your customers from you, even if you can provide them with a better option. If you're not out promoting, then you lose and your customers lose. Promoting your business doesn't have to be expensive and you don't have to be a great people person. You just have to do something unique to stand out. According to the New York Times, the average person in a city sees 5,000 ads per day. Unless you're very, very unique and different with your promotion, people are going to ignore you. They're not trying to be mean. We're all just trained to filter things out unless we have a reason to pay attention. Give them that reason to pay attention and with your next promotion, ask yourself, what would P.T. Barnum do? Action item number three, showcase yourself. People like to buy from people, not from companies. Think about your own buying experiences. Would you rather buy from someone who you can see their picture, learn about their story, and relate to their experiences? Or would you rather buy from ABC Company who uses the same stock photography and boring mission statements as everyone else? P.T. Barnum did a great job of not only promoting his business, but himself as a part of it. He was a creative founder who everyone was talking about and wanted to learn more about. You don't have to be a daredevil like Richard Branson and Balloon Around the World, although P.T. Barnum would be proud. But it can really help your business if you showcase yourself so that your prospective customers feel like they're buying from a real human being. Put your picture on your website and in your marketing materials. Tell a brief story as to why you started your business and the problems you've been able to help solve for your customers. Explain why you're so proud of your business and what makes you different. It will have a tremendous and long-lasting impact on your company's growth. 
So remember, sell something unique, promote, 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 and showcase yourself. Now I wanted to end the video with one of my favorite true stories about P.T. Barnum. One of the houses P.T. Barnum owned was located in Connecticut. It was a large estate situated near a set of high traffic railroad tracks. What made the land so unique was that Barnum would frequently use an elephant to plow his yard. He took every chance he could to promote his circus. Each time a train passed by his house on its way to New York City, hundreds of passengers would see Barnum and the elephant. It was a living advertisement that spoke volumes and intrigued the commuters as they zipped by. Who was this man, and why was he on an elephant in his backyard? They all wanted to know. Newspapers reporters came from far and near and wrote glowing accounts of the elephantine performances, said Barnum. The six acres were plowed over at least 60 times before I thought the advertisement sufficiently circulated. Thank you for joining me for another edition of Modeling the Masters. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you want to leave a comment below and stay tuned for the next edition.